Good evening and welcome to the programme. After weeks of campaigning, the end is now in sight. In just three days' time, Londoners will go to the polls to decide who will take up the top job at City Hall. And today, five of the candidates took part in the last of the hustings to debate cycling safety. It's an issue which provoked Green candidate Jenny Jones to say that Transport for London should face charges of corporate manslaughter following the death of a cyclist in East London last year. TfL say they're working with the police to find out what happened. Our transport correspondent, Tom Edwards, has more. He was the cycling Tory mayor, but if he thought he was going to get an easy ride today, he was wrong. What is the mayor going to do to stand up for cyclists to make sure that people who kill cyclists get the punishment they deserve? Boris Johnson's overseen an increase in cycling, but they're now demanding safer streets and for dangerous junctions to be redesigned. We've got to move away from the idea that cyclists are somehow morally superior. Uh, there are plenty of people uh, who uh, need to use a car. Uh, we need to educate them about cycling in London. If a cyclist cycles irresponsibly, he, doesn't, he or she doesn't kill people. If somebody drives a lorry or a car irresponsibly, they kill people. We will look at the junctions. We will put in um, completely physically separated routes where possible. And where that isn't possible, then we will use, I will use creative ideas to make cycling more safe. This is Bow Roundabout. The mayor's cycling superhighway encourages riders through this busy junction. Two cyclists have died here. It's also emerged that TfL ignored a safety report that said the roundabout needed pedestrian crossings to slow traffic. The Labour and Green candidates want to know if the Mayor's office overruled engineers, something City Hall strenuously denies. I agree with the action Jenny's taken today in writing to the Metropolitan Police to ask them to investigate the Mayor's Office for corporate manslaughter. The Tory candidate, Boris, doesn't seem to accept that this um, smoothing traffic flow policy has actually made any difference to cycling safety, whereas I think most people in this room would say it has made a difference, it's made it worse. Jokes about cycling didn't go down too well. Uh, I do not have whippet, whippet thin uh, brown legs or, or dreadlocks or I do not charge around in lycra, I do not jump lights, I, I, I'm frozen like a pillar, I'm frozen like a pillar uh, lights. Debbie Dawling's husband, Brian, died after being hit by an HGV at Bow Roundabout. We've been promised a lot of things, we've met ministers, we've met the mayor, and, and not a lot has happened. All of the mayoral candidates have now signed up to redesign dangerous junctions. There are, though, questions about funding and some scepticism. My sense was that no one was really committing money. Everyone was talking about money, but they were talking around it. What I did see at the end was that it really, really heated up and that cycling could really swing it this election. I think the Ken Boris decider is not finalised yet. Cyclists believe they can get improvements from this election. Meanwhile, TfL says it's working with the Met in its investigation.